Asana recently got rid of one of their most popular features, and that is the auto promote feature on my tasks. But if you stick around, I'm going to show you what they replaced it with and how it's so much better than the original. Welcome to Asana Solutions, YouTube's best place for everything related to Asana, work management, and process improvement. I'm your host, Marquis, and I'm the founder of Ditto, where we help owners live the life of freedom that they started their businesses to achieve. So at the time of this recording, there's currently a beta for the new My Tasks view in Asana. And if you are a longtime Asana user, you've gotten used to My Tasks and the auto promote feature that takes your tasks as they're approaching the due date and moves them up into upcoming and today. With this new update, they've gotten rid of it, but what they've replaced it with is even better. They've added some functionality where you can now, in your My Tasks view, look at it from the popular list view that we already know. You can look at it in a calendar view, but you can also uh, view your tasks in a board view as well, just like you would manage any projects in a Kanban style. They've also added a really cool rules feature to it as well, so you can add way more flexibility to your My Task, organize your day, and stay on top of all of your high priority projects. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So in my, uh, you can't see my screen obviously, because these are this is my My Tasks, and again, it, it's currently in beta. They're rolling it out slowly to select groups of users. So if you already have this, check it out. Uh, if you don't, get ready because I think you're going to love it. So as you can see, um, I have different sections here. So I have my today, my upcoming, my overdue, my in progress, and my later. So we've always been able to add sections, right, to, to the My Task. That's nothing new. But now you can take your projects from this view and switch it over to a board view where anything that's recently assigned, it's still gonna show up in that first section. You can rename these to whatever you want to. And as you can see, you can see um, a similar board view that you're used to you know, running your projects with as well. And you get the little um, screenshot image you know, to kind of you know, tell you what's inside or if there's any you know, image media inside. So that's one of the coolest features, I think, because now you can easily just slip and slide any of these tasks in between the different sections to really organize and get around your day. So, I mean, like, we're board view is nothing new, but it's new to my tasks. So, this is the first time we're seeing it. Check it out, it's really cool. You can add anything you want to here. Um, so, I'm gonna do one that, you know, says not ever getting done. And maybe that's something that, you know, we would delegate to someone else or just stop doing all together. So what I'm gonna show you now is what they've done with the customize section. So what's nice is for the first time before I get there actually, is you can sort by due date as well as keeping everything in the same section. So before it was either you keep it in a section or you would you know sort it by due date and now you can do both, right? And so that's another cool feature that they've just added on. And so we can sort it by section, which is why I'm getting all of my top priority tasks to the, to the top without having to move them around. Now, I will say that it was really handy to be able to just tab Y, tab U, tab L to get to today, upcoming or later. You can't do that anymore. What they've added, I think, is even better. So now you can add customized rules um, to your to your My Task view. And again, this is for premium and above users, so you're not going to see this stuff on free. Um, at least I don't think it's still in beta. If anyone ha has free and they can use this, leave me a comment below. Um, and so you can now add rules. So for example, where I used to be able to just press tab. Uh, why to get something into today you can simply you know a task is approaching due date move it to a certain section so you pull this up if a task is approaching due date of due today you know if it's due one day before three days a week before or a custom date now you can move it to wherever you want to so in this case if a task is due today where do I want it in my today obviously and then I'm gonna rename it so due date is approaching move task to today real simple and create that rule right um another rule that we can add in just for fun let's just see if we can come up with something so as triggers you have a limited amount this is not uh you're not getting the full functionality of rules we can't add things to slack from here for example or jira um but you can still you know have this work really well for you so i created the section not ever getting done so you know this could be uh task is overdue 
right? Um, and it's like a week after it's overdue, then we can add it and we can move it to a certain section, right? Not ever getting done. Because if you have a task that's overdue for that long, you probably don't want to do it or it's not that important, right? So this could be never getting done. And I always suggest naming your rules because once you start getting a lot more of them, um, they can get pretty confusing. So there I have five tasks running. I've actually created one for things that are upcoming one day and three days. Those will go into my upcoming automatically. Um, there is the task we just created. And then any overdue tasks, um, they'll just go to my overdue section, right? Sometimes you get to the end of the day, you didn't finish it and those will show up red there for me. So again, anything that's not done, you know, that's past a week is gonna automatically go to that section and then we can just slip and slide this as well. Maybe I'll put that at the bottom. So I'd love to know what you think about these new features. I wanted to keep this one really short for you because uh, I think it's some really cool updates that they're making. If you are using your My Tasks in a different way, if you're doing you know, your board view in a different way, I'd love to see it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these new features. And again, if you liked this video and you think it would help a friend, a colleague, a family member, please share this video with them. And do not forget, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping in.